Here I want to show you a principle. That's why I have the same fraction both ways. And I'm going to write it here as 5 times 7 and write it this one. 105 is divisible by 5. It's 5 times 21. Okay. Here I'm going to do the same except switch the order of the multiplication on the top. Okay. Now, as we have been studying, we can cancel out the fives now from here, like that, one and one. But you know here, we can also cancel out the fives. It is simplifying criss-cross, like that. But surely I can do that because I could write it, this seven times five, I could write it in the other order, like here, five times seven, and then simplify the five and five. It does not matter, you can simplify, as long as the same number is here, Above and same number is here below, you can simplify them, you can cancel them out. And here, 7 and 21, I divide by 7, okay, and here the same happens too. I can take 7 and 21 from here and divide both by 7, so I get 1 and 3. Either way, the answer is then 1 third. Next one. 72 would be 6 times 12. This one here is divisible by many numbers. For example, it's divisible by 3. Let's say I write it as 3 times. Okay, 120 divided by 3 is 40. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. 42 in total. Like that. And now I will simplify here. 6 and 3, or I could simplify 3 and 12. There's many ways. Or oh, 6 and 42, how about that one? 6 and 42 are both divisible by 6. So I get 1 here and 7 here. And then 3 and 12, both are divisible by 3. So I'm left like that. I get 4 sevenths. But like you said, I could have simplified in some other manners too. The end result though will be the same. Both of these are divisible by 5, so let's write them as 5 times something, 5 times 30, 5 times... Okay, 150 is 5 times 30, 30 times 5. This is 15 more than that, so it is 3 fives more than 150. 3 fives more, so it is 33. Okay, I don't need to simplify crisscross, these just cancel out. 30 and 33 are, though, again, divisible by 3. So I divide by 3 and get 10 and 11. And that's all I can do, because 11 is prime. Over here, this is actually a fraction multiplication problem. But, as you know, how fractions are multiplied. You multiply the top numbers, you multiply the bottom numbers. So this is the same as 9 times 5 on the top, right? And 10 times 18 on the bottom. I can show you. 9 times 5 on the top and 10 times 18 on the bottom. It's the same as this. Now here, I would of course want to simplify, right? But I can also do the same here, even before I write it in that form. So let me erase that. So this is what we normally do with fraction multiplication. We just simplify right there. And there's 9 and 18. Both are divisible by 9, leaving 1 here, 2 here. 10 and 5 are both divisible by 5, leaving 1 here, 2 here, and all it leaves is 1 times 1, and 2 times 2, 1 fourth. It went quick, didn't it? And here also there are three fractions now that are multiplied. But, just like I showed you here, all this really is is, on the top I would get 16 times 15 times 7, on the bottom I would have those numbers multiplied, so I can simplify before I even do any of the fraction multiplication. I can just start by simplifying. And noticing here, there's all kinds of numbers here. 16 and 24, for example, or 16 and 8 are both divisible by 8. So I leave that, that goes away, then I get 2. Oh, I get 1 here, but it goes away, so to speak, because when I multiply by 1, it's like nothing happens. Then 7 and 21, there's 1 here and 3 here. But now I can still continue. My 15 and 24 are both divisible by 3, right? 5 here and 8 here. Yet I can still simplify some more. 
there's 2 here and 8 here. I can still simplify because remember 2 is just replacing 16 as if and 8 is replacing 24. So these are both divisible by 2, leaving 1 here and 4 here. Now I am all done. It's 5 alone here, it's a prime. So on top I have 1 times 5 times 1. And then on the bottom 3 times 4, 5 over 12. Okay, well all done and I hope this was helpful.